We're back in the corner of Wisdom with TM Cyclos. How are we, Mandem? How are we, Galdem? Coffee. Off to do some faster cardio. Updates. Brandon Harding blocked me on Instagram. Silly. Got an Apple Watch. Seems that the contest prep spending for some form of endorphin release has continued post-show. In terms of what we're doing at the moment, we're currently five days out from the Ocean Ibiza Classic. Flying to Ibiza on Sunday morning, land about nine, check into the hotel, and then head to Ocean. DC 10 opening on Monday. So this is more of just a, an, an Ibiza prep kind of vlog. It's El's birthday on Wednesday, so I get a few bits for Ibiza. You'll have a good close haul. And in terms of what we're doing with food and macros at the moment, it's pretty much just hovering around maintenance, which for me at the moment's about sort of two, four. My weight dropped by 0.5 kilos this morning compared to yesterday after Sunday's cheat day. And then just gonna do cardio probably three or four times a week. Back at David Lloyd in the hairdryer. Someone messaged me on Instagram saying, mate, I heard that you were looking to get a new car. I work for Audi. Well, I don't know where he works. I'll hook you up. Yes, please. I'm looking for an Audi Q5 or a three. Where are they? Three or a five will do. Time, mate. I'll be in contact. Let's do some cardio. Greens time. Greens generally don't have any form of pleasant taste because they are greens powder. As you will be aware, I used to be an avid user of the Holland and Barrett Total Greens but they got rid of it. And ever since I've been on a quest to try and find a decent greens, and Alpha Lion, which is a new brand that we're stocking at Insight, which is fantastic, a very good pre-workout, which I'll be using today, have these superhuman greens with a very packed panel of greens. Question is, will it taste good? Danny said the mango's okay. I'm an, I'm an apple fan in both senses. surprisingly very very good usually with greens powder that's very good usually you get the greens powder it hits you and then you get that weird grainy like swill test fair play alpha lion very good what up with it meal number one going in post show can enjoy some food now. We've got two packs of oats this time. 25 grams of blueberries, one square of dark chocolate. We've got one, the Warburton's, the Finn bagels, that's like basically like half the macros of a full bagel. 150 grams of egg whites and a scoop of whey. Our health supplementation, we've got Dr. Dean's kidney and blood pressure stack in 3000 milligrams of krill oil. Total calories for this meal, or total macro breakdown for this meal I think is about 50 protein, 94 carb, and 15 grams of fat. Have this, and then we can go and train quads, delts, and tries. This is major key, this is big. I'm either gonna lose every single one of my subscribers or gain many, a new subscriber. Bought a pair of Vibrams at the weekend from Body Power to help on leg day, and I've been wearing them for a few minutes, and I absolutely love them. First session back post show, I've picked up the superhuman pre-workout by Alpha Lion. I don't know if anyone remembers on Instagram, but when Danny gave us three samples with blank packaging, we didn't know what they were. We just had to give a God's honest review. And this one was one of my favorite. It, it was phenomenal in terms of the cognitive euphoric feeling. All of us, me, Jack and Josh said this is insane. So we're very similar panel to the MV Pre 2.0, you've got a seven in there as well. 
I'm gonna take half a scoop of this and go and train. This is the first session. First, I'm not a nonce. Today's intro, we are having the supplement needs EA Plus. Growing to very much like the intro EA Plus by supplement needs. Big old stand up body power. It was good to finally meet Dr. Dean as well. A very, very nice guy. So one scoop of that, and then we'll half scoop, which I think will give me about 175 or 150 milligrams of caffeine. Looking forward to today's session, having 100 grams of carbs on board. Obviously the plan will be to jump back on board with Callum, probably after this stint of holidays that we're going on. But in the meantime, in terms of training, it's very much dictated around building the legs. Today's session is a quads, delts and tricep session hamstrings and back tomorrow and in terms of programming I'll go through it because I spent the last couple of days plotting out what I'll be doing leading up to Callum and then more than likely he may incorporate or may completely change it in terms of volume around the areas that we need to improve on but regardless let's have a good session I know what it tastes like well vaguely but it's better than juicy fruit well, how is that possible, may you ask? Well, as you know, when you put a juicy fruit in your mouth, it lasts for about three seconds and the taste goes. The taste doesn't go with this. That's, the, that's one of the only products where the title is to the flavor of it to a T, M Cycles. You know what? You know what it was. You know what I tried to do? Focus myself. On your I tried to focus myself on the camera, but by touching my own face. That's weird. Bit of Colombian coffee this morning. I'll be having something else Colombian in a few days' time. <laughs> That's ridiculous. How am I allowed to do that on YouTube and then mug off Brandon Harding for taking drugs? I'm such a horrible person. <laughs> Joe Brightman looks what? He does, doesn't he? I felt sorry for. I know, I felt sorry for him. I like, know oh, he does, doesn't he? Bless him, the boy. He's all right, he's getting a pro card Sunday. He's getting a pro card whilst we'll be in DC 10. We can celebrate. Nah. <laughs> it's El's birthday. No, I meant, no, we'll be in Ocean. It's El's birthday. It's happy birthday. It's El's birthday today. She's 28. And we're just going to. We're just going to get a few bits for Ibiza in blue water. And it's also the first time that we can go and eat somewhere. For the first time in 18 weeks, we can sit down and have some food. So, and and it's that you, it's that manic post show. What do I eat? What do I eat? I don't really know what we're eating yet. So, we'll just update you. We could go brandy when we're back home. That's what I thought. Should we do that? Just get a little little something in. Yeah, yeah shout. Yeah. That's why I married you. Right then, another successful session in the gym. Two out of two. Very good hamstrings and back, slowly increasing the intensity, ready for when we drop the hammer for a proper off season. Just gonna go to Blue Water now. I had a post workout prawn salad just because we're eating out tonight for the first time. Eat, eating out for the first time in like 19 weeks. So I backloading some food and then just gonna get a couple of bits for I beef on Sunday because we've got Ocean on Sunday. We're going Pikes in the evening and DC 10 Monday. So, Trez outfits us. You want food now? Go and get a pick. I'm gonna eat tonight. So the plan of attack is Ocean's pretty straightforward. It's just a pair of swimming trunks and a t-shirt. Slides are sorted. Pikes I've never been to before. I don't know what vibe that is. And DC 10 is pretty grimy. What shop is it where there's all the fit birds? Boy, fellas, if you're watching this, get, get your missus to go into Misguided. Paul Central. Paul City. After 
Friday. It's cheat day. It's cheat meal time. It's been 19 weeks. We're about to go in. Mm -hmm. Bird and bun. Is that Darren's mate's place? Yeah. What's his name? Reese. Reese. Bird and bun in Bromley. A mixed array of food, which is what I want at the moment. My palate couldn't quite decide what it wanted on the way to Bromley. Burger, fish, and the milkshakes as well. They do naughty milkshakes in there. Come with. Time to go in. It's been, it's been 19 weeks. It's been emotional. If you are coming here, get the American style shake, Malteser with a touch of caramel. The wings are coming apparently. They fucking better be. Fuck, I bet they have me bags. Perfect mate, cheers, thank you. The starters was magnificent. For the main, chicken wrap, skinny chips, ribs, mac and cheese. We out here. Just what the doctor ordered that. Just a, a good mix of the ribs, complimented the chicken, the chips complimented the mac and cheese. On to the desserts, the desserts. One, one dessert wasn't just enough. Flat, flapjack, innit? Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. What does Grace Fit say? What is up guys? Welcome to today's clothes haul. Welcome to the first clothes haul of 2019, Ibiza edition. I'm sure there'll be many more. We've got Mykonos in three weeks. Then we've got Kappa Festival. And then we are... When's we are? Next Sunday. After Ibiza? Yeah. I'm sorry, heart. Stay strong this summer. So in today's video, we'll go in chronological order. My flight lands at like 9 a.m. Checking into Hard Rock. At like 12. I messaged him to see if I could get early check-in, but if not, we'll just go straight to Ocean. So starting with the swimming trunks, Choice didn't really have any great swimming trunks this time around. So I went to Tasuti, got a Stone Island pair, which is like a, a metallic style, which is quite nice. Wearing the Gucci slides with that because they kind of match, and then going pretty minimalistic with the t-shirt, like an open neck, open button t-shirt, which we'll do. We've got a bed at Ocean, but it's just me and Elle because no one else can be fucking bothered to come, unfortunately. Then Sunday evening, we're going to Pikes. I've never been to Pikes. So like I said, I'm not too sure what the vibe is. So I've gone fairly smart cash. As you know, I do like Jake Hall's preview. I think he's got some very nice sets. This navy one in particular is very, very nice. Very nice material. So it's a two piece. The actual top you can get is either a zip one or an open neck one. I think you've probably seen me wear the checkered open neck one before. But it's a little bit cooler. The zip ones tend to be a little tighter under the arm. These ones fit quite perfectly. So that's Sunday night. And then Monday we have got DC 10 opening. I think we're going there about four or five. We're going there four or five? Yeah. 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 And then we'll just be there. So in terms of that outfit, shorts, I never usually wear shorts. I usually wear the Uniqlo long, you know, the ones I'm talking about, the long trousers from Uniqlo because they're a nice fit. Because it's a day thing, I thought I'd get some shorts. These are from Choice Ledu. The material is very, very similar to the Uniqlo ones. It's sort of like stretchy fabric. It's very, very nice. So they'll be worn alongside the D squared t-shirt. This season's one, which is nice. They kind of complement each other pretty well. And then foot wise, I'm usually a van wearing individual, but when I wear shorts, I feel that I need the shoe to be quite built up. I don't know if anyone else agrees with me on that. So, Tommy Mallets have, have brought out, these are very similar to the Yeezy 700s, I think. Might be the Yeezy 700s. Those, is it the Yeezy 700s that I'm talking about? The, the, the style is very similar. But, is that focused? They're very, very comfortable. Very comfortable, big heel on them, so all in all, outfit's very, very 
it complements each other well. Sunglasses, just the normal circle ones from Urban Outfitters. And then we're pretty much done. I did pick up a, a Billionaire Boys Club gamer t-shirt as well. They also do the vests, the gamer t the gamer vests, which look quite nice. So I'll probably just wear this to chilling on Tuesday and go and get some paella in Old Town. But it's only a short one. It's only flying out Sunday, flying back Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Burger and Beyond featuring Joe Brightman after he gets his pro card on Saturday morning. I'm gonna leave the video there. I shall see you all in Ibiza. If you are going circa on Monday, I know there's a couple of going that are going, so let's all holler. Have a fantastic one. Thanks for watching. Thank you, goodnight. Much love.